Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olson and today we are drawing a folding surprise pokeball. Are you ready? Ready. ready. <laughs> Let's yeah. do this. Okay, we're gonna need paper, something to color with and using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Okay, little artist, today my son Mateo is with me. Mateo, can you say hi? Hi. Mateo, you wanna say the joke of the day? Uh, I have a Pokemon joke. What do you call a Pokemon that always scores a goal? How do you call it? Score Bunny. Nah, good one. Score Bunny is exactly what we're gonna draw today. So for this lesson, we're gonna use a bowl. You can use uh, something that is similar in size when you fold your paper that it can fit in, in the paper folding like this, okay? So we're gonna take the bowl and we're gonna trace around it. We're gonna turn the paper like this. Okay, and the paper is opening like this, right? Okay, now we're gonna turn the paper and we're gonna leave a space here and we're gonna do a line that comes down and before we get to the middle, we stop. Okay, <laughs> now like here, we're gonna do kind of like a letter D, a big letter D is half a circle. So it's gonna look like this, look. Half a circle and I stop the same distance. Mm -hmm. Now let's go down with the line to the other side. Inside this one, we're gonna do uh, another half a circle and it's gonna leave a space between this line and this one, it's gonna look like this. Half a circle, let me close right there. And inside we're gonna do another one and this is gonna do another half a circle. Mm -hmm. Now let's flip the paper over, okay, and we're going to copy the same steps, but we're going to leave a space and we're going to do a line, we're going to do a letter D, and now we're going to go down to connect to the other side. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect these two. So I'm going to start from here and I'm going to connect these two. And now we're going to connect these with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the Pokeball is done and now we can open the paper. So now we're going to extend a little bit these lines, just a little bit, Mateo down here mm -hmm. and the same thing we're going to extend this and this now let's turn the paper again okay and we're going to connect this line with this one so you push the marker hard against the paper it goes super slow super slow so you try to go really straight to the other side of the line and connect uh-huh same on the other side yeah now let's do the same in the other side. We're gonna connect this line and I'm gonna go super slow. And I'm gonna connect to the other side. Like that, uh-huh. And so what are we gonna do? We're gonna extend all these lines to touch the lines that we just did. So I'm gonna extend these here, this, this, Okay, now let's do the same in the other side, the same thing. Let's try closing the paper, turn it around, like put it next to me. Exactly, and so now here's our Pokeballs, okay? Now we're gonna start with the score bunny that is in the inside. Okay, now that we open the paper, we're gonna start with the head and the ears. We're gonna go here to the top and leave a space and to the top. Okay, we're right in the center of the Pokeball. Uh-huh. Okay, now here in the middle of these two lines we just did, here in the middle, we're gonna do a little line that goes up and it's gonna look like this. Now, we're gonna do the two ears. So the ear is gonna come from this line going up 
and go back down and it's gonna stop before this line look it's gonna look like this I'm going up and then once I'm uh, really close to the pokeball I want to start going down and I want to stop before I get to the line good okay now let's do the same thing in the other side we're gonna go up really close to the pokeball and come back before uh, a little before the line okay up really close to the pokeball and now look at I'm going down and I want to join it with the other one yeah go down keep going there stop right uh, in the inside we're gonna put kind of like a really long oval shape so it's gonna start from where we start this line going up and we're doing the oval shape Uh -huh. And now on the other side, the same thing. Next to the line, we we'll leave a little bit of a space and we do the oval shape. All right, so on the top, we're gonna put two lines over the oval shape. So over the oval shape, I'm putting one. And the other side, the same. Okay, and now let's go down a little bit and this line is gonna pass behind the, the oval shape. So I'm going in behind. I wanna do here another one and another one uh-huh well, good okay next we're gonna do a rectangle shape we're gonna go under the folding part now we're gonna oh, <laughs> good <laughs> you went, we went really fast okay i want to do my rectangle here okay now next to the rectangle we're gonna do the ice shape so one and two mm-hmm and we're gonna do two little circles inside, one on the top and one on the bottom, and they're gonna almost touch each other, one on the top and one on the bottom. Good job, now let's do the same on the other side, one on the top and one on the bottom, and we're gonna color with black in the middle, okay, just in the middle, so we're gonna color with black here and here. Now let's do the nose. Underneath the square, the rectangle shape we did, we're gonna do a little triangle and do this with the point of the marker so you can do it like thin. Let's point it down. From the point of the triangle, we're gonna go down with the line. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do a smile that goes from side to side, kind of the same length of the rectangle. So it's gonna look like this. And we're using the point of the marker so these lines are thinner. Extend this line now a little bit crossing the folding part just a little bit from this line we just did with extend we're gonna do kind of like a V shapes it's gonna look like this one okay now we're gonna do another one and it's gonna come from here and then go back and we're gonna stop in this imaginary line of the of the face okay now that we have this line we're gonna come from this side of the face and we're gonna go around and connect to this line, okay? And it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna cross the folding part, coming around the eyes, going down and around and connect to this one. Good job, Mateo. Now we're gonna do the same idea, kinda like these hairs that he has here in the other side. So the first one is gonna touch the folding part and come down a little. And we're gonna do a second one. It goes out and comes back in a curve. We're gonna do a curvy line coming back. Good job. So underneath his chin, we're gonna put two oval shapes. He has something underneath his chin. So we're gonna do one oval shape and make sure to leave a space. And we do another one. We're just gonna feed the arms. It's gonna be a big U shape. So it's gonna go U really close to the Pokeball and come back. I woke up too early. <laughs> yeah. Now let's do the same in the other side. We're gonna do a U shape that goes really close to the Pokeball and comes back. Now for the hands, we're gonna do two little lines. We're gonna go one line and here we're gonna do one line. And to finish this drawing, we're gonna do two lines. We're gonna go one 
and it goes over a little bit the arm and the other one the same thing and two and there that's it we finished this picture of score bunny that is in a pokeball now you want to see how it looks when we close let's see let's see how good of a job we did let's oh, close this pokeball hey what are you doing and this is how it looks when we open <laughs> you like it no <laughs> <laughs> and now my favorite part is coming let's go lord Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how our Pokeballs <laughs> turn out. This is how they look when they are closed. And now this is how it look when we open. <laughs> so, Scorbunny is super easy to color. Yeah. So, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more lessons step by step like this one. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Look at this paper rock I made. It's a giant iron golem. Okay, look at this super cool score buddy. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, push the button. Thank you.